Dad found it while he was gardening. <gasps> Whoa, is this part of the lab? Maybe, but nobody's been here in years. That car is from the 1930s. We're trying to fix it up, but it's pretty bad. <laughs> no seatbelts. And you have to roll the windows down by hand. Uh, uh, could somebody please pass me a wrench? Another secret passage. It seems the Griffin Rock scientists of the past had something to hide. The primary question is, what? A doorway? But it doesn't go anywhere. That's because it was designed to go any when. Huh? I believe we have uncovered a time machine. Noble. Team patrol with four bats and stasis. He's like a remote in the strangest of places. Earth was their home now, and in addition, Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Learn from the humans, serve and protect. Live in their world, earn their respect. Family of heroes will be your allies. The letters remain robust in disguise. Rescue bots, go to the rescue. Give it to me. Heroes indeed. Rescue bots, go to the rescue. The lab records show that the time machine was created in 1939 for the Griffin Rock Technology Expo. But the so-called temporal station was never utilized because the scientists of the era could not get it to work. I bet you can, Daddy. <laughs> it would prove an interesting challenge. And think of all the ways time travel could benefit mankind. Let me examine these calculations. If you could time travel, when would you go to, Frankie? The future. With warp speed technology, we could meet real aliens. Aliens? Never gonna happen. Hey, guys. Who's up for a double feature at the drive-in? No time, Cody. We have important hero work to do. <laughs> Since when is a photo op with preschoolers important? Since Haley is their teacher. Since Haley is their teacher. Uh, what about you, Boulder? Sorry, Cody. I'm helping Graham with his engineering homework. Hydraulic conductivity is fascinating. Hey, Blades, are you... Yes! Cody, can we call you back? If you would like to review outdated municipal codes with me, I am available. Uh, no thanks, Chase. I kind of had my heart set on a movie. Remember when my family didn't want to spend time with bots? Emergency dispatch. Go ahead. Cody, I need the entire rescue team right away. Something the matter, Doc? No, something's the anti-matter. I believe I have repaired the time machine. A time machine? You didn't find this on the best left forgotten shelf, did you, Doc? You sure this thing will hold up? The tech is ancient. But the science is still sound. All the temporal station lacked was an energy source powerful enough to activate it. The scientists in the 30s simply couldn't turn the machine on. But with nuclear energy, we can. At least long enough to send a test subject through. Who's the guinea pig? Dither! Doc, you sure that's a good idea? Uh, what if your helper bot does something in the past to alter history? I've programmed Dither not to interact with anyone he meets. Besides, the temporal station's controls are set to August 17th, 1939, the date the scientists stopped working on it. So no one should be around to see Dither appear? Precisely. Dither can zip in, gather data, and use his own nuclear power source to return home. It all sounds pretty safe. Why Doc want the rescue team here? Something bad from the past could come back with Dither. Uh, Firebot. Vehicle mode. Cody, Frankie, climb inside. 
bot mode, please. The rest of you, be ready. Is everyone prepared to face the past? Powering up! Dither, into the portal. Doc, turn that thing back on. I can't. The explosion destroyed the controls. We're Cody and Frankie. What happened to our bots? Well, I'm sure everyone safely arrived in 1939. Well, fairly sure. I don't understand. The time portal appeared to experience some kind of energy shockwave. Hmm. Uh, perhaps the robot's power source created interference. What exactly do your machines run on, Chief? I don't know. Uh, the kids, will they be all right, Doc? I believe so. I I'm certain Dither will turn on the temporal station in the past and bring them back very soon. Hmm. Uh, fairly certain. Uh, uh, what was that? Where did my family go? And why is he here? Unbelievable. <gasps> Dr. Morocco? It works. It works! Welcome, travelers from the future. I am Dr. Thaddeus Morocco. He doesn't recognize the bots. Why would he? We're in the past, remember? 1939. But Morocco looks the same now as he does in our time. Awaiting orders. Can you communicate? What era are you visiting from? Don't answer that. I wasn't going to. No, I meant... I mean... You are unlike the others. Are you their leader? <laughs> He's following orders to avoid interaction. But Dither's our only way home, and we can't let him wander around in the past. Fire response robot. Vehicle mode, let us out. What? Children, how did you get here? What is this technology? Tell me. Thaddeus, you know this area is sealed off. You shouldn't be, what? On Earth! The time machine. It is now fully operational, thanks to yours truly. He's lying. He didn't make it work. We brought ourselves here. Poor child. Dazed from his temporal journey. Dr. Hendrickson, you have to believe us. You know me. You were Griffin Rock's first female scientist. You're one of my heroes. And we know that Dr. Morocco is... These youngsters need rest and isolation. But they're just children. Who knows what horrible germs they may have brought from the future. And Dr. Dodgson. Robot, stop. Maintain objective. Do as told. Understood? Robot. Understood. Fascinating. I'll personally take point in studying these mechanical men. We have to get back to Griffin Rock. I mean, our Griffin Rock. Daddy just fixed this for me. A watch hologram projector. Hey, Dr. Babysitter! That won't fool him for long. Dither's tracking device is linked to my watch, 
So it should be easy to get a fix on him. Come on! Hmm, that's funny. The screen says there's no satellite feed. We better stop in a cyber cafe and run it through a remote IP. Um, Frankie, I don't think there are any satellites here. And I know there's no cyber cafe. But where's the Froyo shop? And the Pilates studio? You're blocking the sidewalk, and your clothes are funny. <laughs> Mrs. Nederlander? I'll adjust my watch to pick up Dither's internal frequency. I know 1939 has radio signals. Uh, let's stick to the side streets. I am concerned to hear of these events, Chief Burns. Energon is our lifeblood and fuel. It is entirely possible it may have interacted with the Time Machine's technology, providing the power for the rescue bot's unexpected trip to the past. So if the Energon can power up the machine, the bot should be able to bring everyone back to the present. Perhaps. But the fact that they have not yet done so may indicate they have encountered difficulties. Again, robot. Again. Again. If I can learn how this technology of the future works, the War Department would pay me hundreds. And with an army of these robots, I could rule the world. Yeah. Chamber of Youth. Fifty years old and still running. Best technology I ever stole. Well, find the data fast. Forced to break the speed limit, not once, but dozens of times. I am ashamed to call myself a police bot. Why do Earth females so enjoy yelling at me? Humans in the past seem a lot meaner. Should we make a break for it? Cody told us to maintain cover, so that's what we'll do. Your data tells me nothing. I am aware these machines have speed and strength. I want to know why. We need more invasive testing. Time to pull these behemoths apart. Warning, we are programmed for defense when threatened. And we, my metal friends, are equipped with giant electromagnets. I will not require any more assistance today. Daddy's not the only one who knows the password. We need a distraction. What is that? This had better be important. Uh, someone from Science Magazine to see you, sir. You've been voted Scientist of the Year. 
Finally. Stay here and keep watch. I'll free the bots. Cody! We knew you'd come back for us. The switch on the wall. It controls an electromagnet. But Morocco has the key. You'll have to find a way to override the... You do talk! All of you! I didn't say anything. Oops. <sighs> Smooth. It's okay, it's okay. It's time she knew. Cody, I always knew. You did? Well, almost always. <gasps> you can't fool me, Cody. Especially about giant alien talking robots. I am distraught. I thought our charade had been successful. We'll worry about that later. Right now, we have to... Morocco! Dither, find the circuit breaker. Shut down the power for that electromagnet. So glad to see you again. I should have come to you for answers in the first place. Now... Tell me how these robots work. We don't know nothing, Mr. Doctor. We're just little kids. Oh, if that's how you'd like to play this game. Dither, hurry! Leave them alone! Oh. Bumblebee and Optimus live here in 1939? Chief Burns informed us of your time travel dilemma. We suspected you might need some assistance. You suspected correctly, sir. Odd. That sounds like me. Rescue bots, roll to the future. <gasps> Wait, that time you saved me down in the tunnel during the earthquake, you really were talking to me, weren't you? I thought you'd passed out. Do you bots have to do everything Cody tells you to? Absolutely not. Once in a while. I take orders only from Chief We Burns. have a choice? Don't go any farther. Dr. Hendrickson, I know you're a nice person. You wouldn't let any harm come to us. Dr. Morocco? He's not a good man. Now or ever. Hmm. Seems some things are timeless. I'll keep the others away as long as I can. Thank you. Someday you'll invent things that help a lot of people. I will? All right, I will. Good luck. They went that way. Wait! Dither! Where is he? We must have lost him. We can't get back without him. He's the only way to power up the time machine. Not the only way. Our inner John. It's what caused us to be drawn into the machine in the first place, isn't it? Yeah. 
Dr. Morocco? We found this under a table in the lab. Hmm. Let's see what makes you tick. Everybody. I assumed we would be returning only a short time after our departure. Maybe they're outside. Dad? We're home! Frankie, I don't think we are home. What are they doing here? Unauthorized visitors to Morophilus. Identify yourselves. Moropolis? <laughs> 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 